e-camper. Ta-da! Standing room. Plenty of leg room. So I want to show you real quick how the whole axis of the pop top works. If you have a sunroof in your element, they're just going to cut it out and that's how you'll access it. If you don't have a sunroof, they're just going to cut a hole in your roof and that's how you'll access it. Bam, there's into my car right there. That's the hole. Then you have these planks um, and it's real simple. They just fill the hole. They slit, sit in a little slot and you'll see I have the other one already in place and that's how that works. Pretty simple. Next step would be to get the cushions on. The cushions strapped to the ceiling, held on by these, these little elastic things. You just, and they go into place really easily and Boom. So real quick, a couple more features. We have lights, bam, movable lights. One on each side. We also have another light, boop. We have a power source down here. Right now I am currently charging a Mavic Air drone battery. What's really awesome about this is we can open up to the world. Fully open up like that or you can do Mosquito net. Some of the most commonly asked questions I get about the eCamper are, one, where did you get it? Ursa Minor Vehicles is the company, and they have two locations, one in San Diego and one in Portland, Oregon. It takes about a week for them to put it on, um, install it. It's actually built on top of the car. Number two question is, does it affect your uh, gas efficiency? Does it affect your MPGs? No, it does not. Um, I got about 23, 24 in this averaging, and that is still what I get. One would be, how much is it? It's pretty expensive. How does it handle weather is another question I get quite a bit. Um, great. So the canvas tarp around it is all weatherproof. The other thing is power. It's kind of wired in through the car. And so it's great. It can You can leave it on. It can last for multiple, multiple days. So I've done it for four days and had no issues starting the car after. I'm not sure how they do that, but it's awesome. The other most important question I get with the e-camper is, is it fun? Two thumbs up. I would say one of the best things about it is that it encourages you to get outside more um, and go camping. And so every time I see it, it's always there and it's always kind of saying, hey, go outside, go do something fun, go do something active. One other awesome thing about it is it's a bit of a conversation starter. You get to actually, I would say, meet more people through this, which is awesome. Not every car, every little accessory or fun item can do that and the e-camper does it. Also, it's a total babe magnet. Actually, that's a little bit of a lie. When I first told my girlfriend about getting a Honda Element, she said, why would you want a box? Mm -hmm.